you, thank you very much there, Quicksand. The couch is, in fact, comfortable, <laughs> and we have some lovely people joining us right now. It is the TGG team. Didn't quite get the results you guys were looking for, but if you're still filling up for it, let's just go the other way this time. So introduce who you are just so you know people can associate the names to the faces. Um, so I'm Fruit Peach, a.k.a. Uh, Phoenix on the field. That's me. I'm <laughs> um, Logi, uh, known as Matt. Uh, uh, Mr. Funky. <laughs> it's Mr. Funky out the end, yeah. doesn't have a <laughs> microphone, but yeah, I think you guys could figure it out between the hat and the banana and everything that's going on right there. Unfortunately, without the headset, I think that's going to kind of remain a bit of a mystery right now. I have to ask, does the banana have a name? Yeah, no. He, he named it ages ago, I just can't remember what. We were shaking his head no. Funky was shaking his head no, so apparently the banana is nameless. Look. Game didn't go the way you were looking out for. I mean, it felt as if you were constantly forced on your own defensive side. You were never able to get the offensive rolling. W what was going on in that? Um, so personally, uh, Team Bliss played fantastic, honestly. Props to them. Like, we just didn't have it today, which, like, today wasn't our day, obviously. Um, but that being said, we also didn't train much as a team, which kind of fell through because, not to, like, plug myself but I'm a part-time DJ here and there so I'm oh. personally a lot massively busy yeah so I could, I could really, understand yeah, that I couldn't really get time to train when we needed to but um no definitely hoping we did uh, hoping we do get to come back uh we do intend on training as a team and being able to like put plays in motion and like be able to actually hit open nets I, I, I find it interesting that Mr. Funky isn't the DJ. Instead, you are coming in. Well, do you go by the same name? Is it is, is Fruit Peach uh, to your no, DJ? So no, my DJ name is Phoenix, F3NIX. Okay. No. And what type of music is it? Uh, pretty much anything. Hard style, pop, um, a little bit of techno here and there. EDM. Much house? Yeah. House, yeah, okay. So I've been drum and bass. Love drum oh, and bass. drum and bass. Yeah, fair yeah. enough. That's all well and good. So are you then providing the soundtrack at all like when because i know some players and some teams like to sync up their spotify playlists when they're going so they all get on the same page is that something you guys are out there doing i mean if if someone can provide me with an xdj rx3 i will gladly play the whole soundtrack for any of them <laughs> well now i have to ask do you guys all have the same taste in music just kind of further down <laughs> i don't think so i think we've all got very much yeah. muchly varied Okay. Mr. Funk is a massive Drake fan. I can confirm that. Oh, a lot of Drake down there? A little bit. A little bit? A little bit, a little <laughs> he, bit with he, the response. He says a little bit, but when we do play, he listens to Drake. All right. Fair shot. So, again, though, like, being able to play in two different clubs, uh, because you obviously played at XP, you've been able yeah. to come here as well. Was there anything about playing in the different environment that you feel like could have affected your play at all? Or is it just, you know, put me in front of the monitor, tune out the rest of the world, let's go? Uh, yeah, personally for me, it's like all about environment too. Um, I'm not, oh, I can't really say that I'm a DJ, but <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say I'm like, I don't know, this is a different thing compared to DJing, whereas this, like it's more hype and then DJing is more like fun and stuff. But um, yeah, no, the environment, like personally for me, has a massive like um, yep. impact on me. Yep. And great environment, love the crowd for um, when Team Bliss scored. That was fantastic. Yeah. But, um, yeah, no, environment for me is a huge thing. Excellent. And then, I guess, moving forward, you guys did talk about how you do intend to keep playing DJ with each other, to keep scrimming with each other, because yeah. there are going to be more events like that. Obviously, Stings to come in second. How confident are you that you can bounce back and win it next season? Oh, 100%, I think. Yeah. Hey, this is our first official season as, like, a team playing together. And then when we did sign up, we had, like, what, a week before we even actually went and played for our first game. So, yeah, we didn't really get much training in is what the other teams probably would have gotten in. But then again, not really an excuse as we're all friends and play quite frequently. But, yeah. All right. Well, hopefully next time you do feel a bit more prepared coming into the event. Again, congratulations, though, on the second place and look forward to seeing you all next season. Thank you. Thanks, Looking man. forward to it as well. <laughs> that said, we are going to get a set up here with another interview down here in just a few moments. But before we do that, Either some words from quicksand or perhaps a little bit of a break. I don't know what's going on behind the scenes. All I know is this couch is comfy and we need to swap these teams around. <laughs>